What's up, everybody? Hey, hey. Welcome to another In the Garage. I guess I should not play drums for this. I thought it said subscribe <laughs> behind me, but I was blocking with my person. Yeah, it is. It's behind you. It's all right. Everybody just subscribe if you're not. Hey, subscribe, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we got my dad back. Hey. Yep. Extended back stay down there. Yep. Point the mic at your face. Back from the, the sun from Arizona. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> now we can hear it. Although it is finally gotten sunny up here the last couple of days. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah, today wasn't bad. Yeah, I'm kind of jealous that you're the tannest one in the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Clyde's got he a nice... He skipped ar- winter. Yeah, you skipped the winter. That's cheating. <laughs> I'm just orange because of my freaking settings. Yeah. I did fix it on the other file, but so maybe next time my camera will be fixed. What do we got going on today? Hey, hey. All right, we're on bumper two. So if you haven't watched the first bumper video, then go back and watch it. I'll try to remember to link it in the description, and I'll try to remember to link the whole playlist. So we're building a suburban camper. So With the bumper deluxe. Boom, 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 Yeah. So I got the... Basically, I put a... I started putting words in this. I don't know if we like the words or not, but... Hey, I like that words. It says accessories. So... First, First we're going to do pins and bump stop. Yeah, we need that. So the pins, what are we talking about, these pins? So they're like, there's little pins that I got that have springs on them. Then you pull them up so, you know, they will they'll lock the thing in place in certain positions. Nice, nice. And we're doing the bump stop first, huh? Yeah. So basically what I'm doing there is I'm drilling... Drilling through the bump stop holes, there's two two bolts that need to go down through it to uh, hold the bump stop. And that'll keep the whole thing from just running into the back of the truck. So here's a better view of it. Oh, look at that. So there's the pin right there. So that that basically that part right there is the that's pin. That's the hinge. No, that's oh, the that's pin. That's the pin that oh, that's stops the pin it. that holds it. Yeah, yeah so I'll, hold, I'll pull that up. So that piece of metal underneath it is where the, we're going to drill a hole in in a minute, and there's the bump stop there. There's the hole. So yeah, I'm drilling a hole in that piece of metal I was just talking about for the pin to actually go through. So that pin holds it in place, right? That keeps it in the home position pin. It like oh, locks it, locks it closed. Yeah, it locks it closed. Nice. But it doesn't like it won't work while you're driving down the road because there's so much flex in it that it just pops out. And I didn't put the video on this one, but on the next one or something, there's there's another catchment that we use to hold it closed right. while we're driving down the road. It's like a rubber thing that you like, you basically like pull up on it yes. and it like goes in. They put them on uh, semi-battery boxes. Right. <clears throat> Keep the, Lord, the lid closed. Yeah, so. So you're welding on the end, keeping the catch pin, keep the home spot. That's what the last clip showed. Yeah. Rewind it a little bit. Let's see. Just because we were talking so much, and there's so much action going on behind it. I didn't want the folks to miss it. Yeah, and like... Look at how much action we got going on. Yeah, so I drilled a hole into that piece of metal. It's just a square tube. And then I welded it on the end of the bumper there. That's what that was, where it's supposed to go. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just welding that piece of metal there on the end. And then the bump stop will will bolt in right next to it. And so this, see the video is, we have to turn ourselves off. get rid of our faces. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So this right here, we're doing, what I did is I, this is on uh, where that pin is. I have to weld it on. And so what I did was I just put a bolt through the hole. So that piece of square tube, with the hole in it, I put a bolt in there so that it would center the pin to where it's supposed to be. And then I put the sleeve for the pin around the bolt. Jesus, that was a lot of words, brother. Sorry. I'm glad you I don't know how to talk. Me. So then I just tacked that on to the, the actual swing out part. Nice. And this part, I screwed this up, though. Because, like... So well, you couldn't get the bolt out. Yeah. <laughs> so I the bolt I used come came off a wash off of a washing machine, and I don't know how how they do it or whatever, but the washers can't come off the bolt. Right. 
And so, <laughs> oh, and you got the you got the washer below though. Yeah. So there's a there's a washer, and I was using the washer on the bolt. It worked out good, so that I would space it yeah, away from the bumper. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Like, but now I can't get the bolt now out. It's yeah, the bolt's trapped so because the washer it. won't come out. See, I can't get it out. A Chinese washer trick, huh? Yeah. So I just went and got the die grinder and cut it off, cut off wheel, and just did it that way. Nice. Look at that placement. But it worked. It made it, you know, easy to play. So it's exactly lined up to that hole right there. Nice. So, so yeah, so hopefully that makes sense. Right now I'm screwing in the pin. And so that has like a spring on it and you can pull that T handle up. Lip. Yeah, see, there we go. I think that your brother kept pointing that fan at you for ventilation. Yeah, so you got a got a washer fan motor i don't know why <laughs> like it points you're like you're blowing it on the hot metal yeah. like you're gonna cool it off or something <laughs> we need my dad there <laughs> yeah see look at you see you're just like oh we'll fan it <laughs> i'm not even welding at that point so there's no fumes to blow away right Look at that little ramp. You so made. then what I did is I went and got some more metal and made a ramp. I decided I think I could make this thing self-close. So like you slam it like a door and it will just pop in. Like so if yep. your kid leaves it open, you just hit the brakes and bang, close it. Yeah. Turn, yourself. turn right and hit the brakes. Yeah, turn yeah. right and hit the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so basically I was just testing it out to see how it would work. So I welded it on and then did a lot more welding and a lot a lot of welding and grinding here to get it to sort of be flat. Paper just right. Yeah, and I like at some point I hit the end of it with a hammer to like kind of bend it to the bumper so that it is uh so that it like conforms on one see right there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I b bent down that side and then I welded it to the bumper on that side. That we do have the ultimate in safety of backsplashes now. Yeah. Thanks again to another dryer. Yeah, I put a that piece of sheet metal up there, that white across the wall, so that I'd stop sending gr gr grinder sparks into the wall. I don't, I don't know if it matters. I mean, I just smacked maybe it does. Mouth this microphone. Yeah. <laughs> don't know where it is. <laughs> yeah, so right there I'm grinding the pin. So it'll slide easy? Yeah, so that the, right. the pin has like a kind of like a ratcheting effect or, you know, an angle taper. on it. Yeah, yeah taper, taper so that it goes up the hill. Kind of like your door, you know? Like right. how your door has a taper on it? I don't know what they call that. A what? taper? Yeah. <laughs> I think my dad said it already. <laughs> So here, here it is, finished or whatever, or finished dish or Look at something. That. That's smooth like butter. So it kind of just made it conform. It doesn't. It closes right when there's all the weight on it. Right. But, well, without the weight, I have to pull the T up and make it do it. And the right. bump stop isn't in place for that. So, so then what we did is we got this. I got this piece of metal right here that's in your hand, and. Basically, that's going to be the piece of metal that holds the thing open. And it's different stages, right? Yeah, so we were going to weld that right there and then drill two holes in it. Right. And then put a pin right above where your thumb is right where there. Where the grease fitting is. Yeah, and then that pin will hold it open. So when we're camping, it's not just kind of flapping around everywhere. Right. You could or, have it at 60 degrees, 40 right. degrees, and 80 degrees. Uh, no, I think just 90 and... Maybe like 110, okay, 115. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it depends on where you're at, you know, according to the compass. No, you just compare it to the other angle. You know what I mean? Yeah, but according to where you're shooting your azimuth. It's not like where you are. Yeah. Well, you're, you're Always it's, it depends on where you are. It's degrees off the back of the truck. Yeah. So 90 degrees. That line never moves. The bumper line. So 90 degrees would be, <laughs> be straight out from the truck. Right. right. And then a little bit wider. For whatever reason, to be like 110 degrees. Yeah. Well, I mean, according to that, but if you're a sovereign citizen, 
Yeah. The, the, the front right of the vehicle is always assumed to be pointing north. I mean, yeah. Right. I was just trying to argue. You know, me and Maddie were talking about <laughs> north the other day. <laughs> is, no, south. is north up or is north down? Like you're going to go up north, right? Right. Down south. Down south. Right. So if you're going up, east. if you're going up or down a hill, out west. if you're going up or down a hill, then what do you do? Damn, you're right. You're going in and out. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go let Jared in. Okay. You keep talking about keep whatever. Talking. Okay. Well, maybe not heavy, but it is yeah. So right here, we're about we're getting ready to line up the. Not just the places to drill the holes, but we're also getting ready to get the placement for the clip, the T-clip. So that's what Clyde's doing right there, Dad, yeah. right next to you. Oh, you can see. I remember we had, we had quite a conversation about this because of the grease fitting. Right. What's your expertise on the grease fitting? Uh, you don't have to grease it much. Right. Not like it, not like wool bearing where you run it down the road. <laughs> why? Why was this going to block the grease fitting? Um, we uh, we didn't want to block it, but we also still wanted to keep the angles. What up, Gerard? Yeah, but you don't, yeah you only have to grease it very rarely, I think. Right. <clears throat> I think I'll probably never grease it really. Right. Okay, hey, congratulations. Happy birthday. Yeah. I got Clyde one too, so don't feel bad. All right, so is it broken? I think we broke it. Oh. Okay. Well, I was explaining how we were figuring out the placement to drill the holes. We also figured out the placement for the T slider to weld. Yeah. That's what's going on this clip. That's why we put everything together slightly. Yeah, so that we would. We're putting the bearings together right, right. there. Yep. Yeah, well, it dry fitted a whole bunch of times because we had to like figure out where everything was, you know. I do really like how how prominently how long that made in Mexico did stay. Yeah, it lasted. Some Mexican steel the Mexican whole time. Mexican steel right there. Yeah, so I was looking at the the plate to see how level it still was, and it actually turned out level somehow. Considering we just put it there and welded it. Made this happen. So there's the pin and that's it's gonna go right there. <clears throat> so that pin will loc will hold the thing open and closed. So and I don't know I don't know really what the point of the other pin is. I guess the other pin just kinda holds it closed while you latch it. Right. You know, like I said in the other video, I didn't design this thing. I'm more or less copying somebody. So now the spare tire carrier and box brackets. Here we go. Yes. This became super technical. Yeah, it did. I mean, we put the thing on the Suburban and measured, and then I pretty much just eyeballed it and <laughs> redesigned it. Just kind of, I just kind of looked at it, and what I came up with, I don't know if this will help anybody, is that thing in my right hand there is like a trailer spare tire that you would just bolt on i bought it off amazon for like 26 bucks or something right. you would just bolt it to your trailer and it would hold a spare tire <clears throat> so it isn't big enough for an eight lug no. we, we ended up having to, to cut it and make it bigger <laughs> but it did work so then i just took some square tube and i made them about eight inches and then i cut an angle on the back that just more or less eyeballed it like that that looked like it was gonna give me what I needed. We need the angle so that the back glass can open. Yeah. So that way we could reach in and like strangle a kid while the back tires. I mean. Well, put so we could so we could load the truck. Load the truck. With the spare tire on it and the trailer, because I think when the trailer's on, the swing out tire right. carrier isn't gonna open. Right. So you, you know? need to open the back window. Yell at somebody. Hey, put my shit yeah. back. Quit drinking my Mountain Dew. So then I just pretty much welded that where it was supposed to go. Maybe I just like yelling too much. Is yeah, that what it is? You just yell at everybody yeah, all the time? Like, hey! I'm loud! <laughs> Listen to me! I know how to yell. <laughs> so here's where I kind of showed it. Nice, look at that swing. So there it is at the 90 degree. 
right? I don't know. I think I got it. Yeah, so there it is to the other degree, whatever it is. Yeah, the 2460. So you can get it all the way open just in case. It's like 160 degrees to me. 160? Yeah, that's 90. That's right. 90. So right around there, 180 would have been straight out. Yeah. But then the tire hit the hit the truck. See, window opens. You let a kid. Yeah. Wouldn't it be easier to tilt the tire the other way to get it to clear the glass? Yeah, but it's got to look cool, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look cool if you it looks, tilt it. It looks either. aerodynamic. Cause I mean, we follow forward. the lines of the truck. Yeah. Right, follow the lines. Of, plus, <laughs> yeah. it's got to hold a bag of roux, too. That's the third thing. The trash roux. Well, that's really what yeah. the whole... Really, the point of this whole thing is so I could put my trash on it. Yeah, that's the whole thing of the spare tire is hold the trash. I could have got a $35 new hoist <laughs> and just bolted it in and just, you know. But, yeah, anyway, so this is the, wait, hold on. Let me pause it. So this right here, this is where things started getting interesting. <laughs> I don't know why I like, I don't ever wear gloves, you know. <laughs> So I was grinding the brackets for the box, and look how close my hand is to that. I like the auto zoom, man. This is like such yeah. a good <laughs> Just wait for it. Isn't it getting warm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Notice how there was sparks and then suddenly no sparks. <laughs> yeah. Time for some black tape. So then I had to get the black tape out because <laughs> I grinded my thumb a little bit. <laughs> I've been holding one of those things to the table, either the grinder or the. Well, of so then I didn't even learn. So I'm like, all right, I'll get vice grips, you know, and I'll vice grip the thing together, so I have some more distance between what I'm grinding, and then I immediately forget what I'm doing. Watch, watch where I hold it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we go. <got> it. <laughs> just like I could be holding the vice grips. Right. But instead, I'm just like, uh, that probably won't happen again. Or you could clamp it to your table and hold on to that handle and yeah. two-hand that thing. I could. I could have. But I didn't. Hey, I, sometimes the machine is hungry for human flesh. Is that what it is? Yes. They got you last time. Yes, it did. When, <laughs> when we were doing the <laughs> the other project. Right. So anyways, then I clamped it down there, and then I squared it up and welded it. Hey, look, now you're wearing safety goggles, so at least you're doing one part of it. Yeah. Well, I think I was wearing safety goggles, glasses. I think this is the first project I've ever worn safety glasses either. But I used to have glasses glasses, so that's probably why. I didn't really, I don't think I filmed myself welding those on. But you can see them there. I left this clip in just to show you that that's what I did. I ended up doing it. I welded those. So there's a whole lot of other stuff that is cut out that yeah. I, I didn't put in yet because I'm not where that'll probably be the next video. Yeah, didn't I get like wire wheel? Didn't I have to pull a big old piece of wire out of me? I don't know if we filmed that. Oh. But yeah, at one point Tyler had a wire wheel in him, like a little, <laughs> a little sliver that had flown off and gone in what was in your arm or what? Yeah. I don't remember. And I couldn't wipe it out. It was like really in there. Yeah. Annoying. Right. Yeah, you don't want to spin those wire wheels fast. Oh, it's right playing the it. it's playing the other video. Oh, Sorry, yeah, that was you, last time's video. Where you muscled up. <coughs> is that what it is? It's spinning it too fast? Yeah. Well, it's yeah, on the a wire grinder. starts spitting out. You have to have high quality wire wheels. Yeah, well. well what you want is the ones that are, <laughs> the, tw the other wires are all twisted. Yeah, super twisted ones. That way, even if they break off inside, they're, they're twisted around the right. so they buddies stay and on. they won't come out. Well, we don't have those ones, so. <laughs> we have yeah. ones that make yeah, you Yeah, you have the single strand ones. They'll come <laughs> Yeah, they'll. You want yeah. to get some quills? Yeah. So anyways, yeah, there it is. So there's the, yeah. you can kind of just barely see, but there's the two, the two mounts for the box. And so I guess next time we'll do the box mounts and right. the tire mount and putting it on and painting it and all that kind of stuff. And I don't know how you want to handle the, the failure. <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll just do it after we get the, after after a, hey after we get done with this we're going to show you the blooper reel i figured we should just do the bumper all together yes in three parts 
So next time we'll be done with the bumper and then we'll just do one failure video about failure the video. failure and then we'll talk about the giveaway. Yes. At the at, on that video. So in two more videos. Two more videos. We'll, we'll do a get giveaway. Epic. Well, some of the footage is pretty sweet. I, I know, was looking right? at it. it. It was a lot of work. We learned yeah. a lot. It was a tactical advance failure. It was a learning trip of, of yeah. ooh, learning. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you later. Have a great one. Keep tuning in. Yeah, tune Send us some monies. Come back on Wednesdays. We do live streams. Trasheroo. Okay, bye.